All right, here's a uh, U.S. Army Signal Corps radio receiver BC-348Q that I picked up at the uh, Hamfest over the weekend and uh, got it fired up here, sounding pretty good, I'm listening to some HF broadcast with it, with this random length wire here. Hooked up to this little uh, Motorola speaker, and uh, it's working pretty good down here at uh, five megahertz for WWV. Now this receiver covers point two, in other words, two hundred kilohertz. It's uh, up to 18 megahertz, but it skips over the broadcast band. So you get a 500 KC, and then your next band is 1.5 to 3.5 mega megahertz, and 3.5 to 6, and 6 to 9.5, 9.5 to 13.5, and finally 13.5 to 18. And uh, when I got the radio, the owner told me that uh, he didn't need some capacitors replacing the power supply. So these radios are designed, were originally designed for aircraft. So normally on this little panel, there would be a uh, little dynamo supply to take 28 volts up to 200 volts, whatever it needed. And... Um, so these were typically sold on the surplus market to ham radio operators and so this one's already been modified. It's had a power transformer put in, a uh, filter choke and a 6x5 regula uh, reg rectifier and uh, so that's what's running the radio right now. I replaced the electrolytics on that but they're underneath the power supply. Um, I wanted to show the guy that worked on this radio originally I guess he labeled all the tubes with these little Dymo labels so there that's a 6SA7 and here we've got a let me turn on the light to fill it in a 6K6 6SA7 6SK7 uh, this is the audio output transformer here that I'm clip leaded on to and uh, here's the drive mechanism for the tuner. Um, actually, it's underneath. This is the drive mechanism for the band selector. You can kind of get a look for how that functions. That's the detector circuit there, the VT152. So. They're all very high quality, very well built. I'll go ahead and flip it over and try to show some of the work I did there. Um, real quick before I do, because these radios were frequently modified, the owner put, or the original modifier, put a power switch there. So flipping that turns off the power. Now I'll turn the radio over so you can uh, kind of get a look inside. All right, well, here's a look at the underside of this BC-348 radio. And uh, the work that I've done so far, i still got to clean up some of this uh, switch wiring here, but uh, cleaned up, believe it or not, a lot of the power supply leads were, all the solder joints were a mess. And so I got uh, lead, uh, what do you call these, lugs? Uh, soldered onto the wiring. I did replace uh, some of the wiring because it was in bad shape and uh, redid a lot of the solder joints on the power supply. The guy that built this just really wasn't that great at uh, at soldering. Used a lot of solder and bad joints and so on and lots of electrical tape. Uh, here's a look at one of the capacitors that was uh, inside you know originally on the power supply of paper this is an 8 microfarad 450 volt and it was kind of hanging out in this area here along with another one that was a uh, 18 microfarad and I replaced both of those with modern uh, 
tubular caps that are now up under this uh, capat this large oil filled capacitor here and uh, like I said cleaned up the wiring it plays real well I see there's at least one uh, one more paper capacitor here probably test slash you know repair that and then there's a lot of these um, metal they're like metal can capacitors 0.01s there there's quite a few of them in here maybe I'll get in and try and test those and see if they're they're leaking or whatnot and uh, otherwise uh, it's uh, playing real well this is the original uh, power connector and audio that uh, I guess it will plug into the aircraft system through that and I'll look at the uh, tuning capacitor there's four sets of uh, capacitors there, variable caps, and uh, pretty intricate drive mechanism. All, again, very high quality, and I mean, amazingly accurate. When I tune in WWV at 5 megahertz, I mean, it's right there. It's right on. So, uh, really... Uh, spare no expense on the build quality here this radio you know is 70 years old probably and uh, it'll probably uh, run for many more years if it's uh, kept in a suitable environment so that's it for now on this uh, BC 348 playing very well